Welcome back everyone, this is Subrat and hope you are doing well. Today I want to discuss about 5 mistakes you are doing or you should avoid while starting as a web developer or any developer that matters. Before starting the video, I just want you to know that whatever I'm going to say, it's my opinion and what I feel is wrong. So let's start. And the first mistake which lot of beginner developers do and I did the same and beginner doesn't mean that a junior developer beginner means who is starting for a new new paradigm new technology like suppose you are a software developer means a application developer and you are coming to web development then you will be considered as a beginner and the mistake is focusing more on the framework or the library what i meant is focusing more on the features of the framework or library and not not focusing on the basics of web development or basics of how browser works i know knowing those features are pretty important because you are going to use those features on your on your application and while de development that's why those those libraries are or or those frameworks are popular and that's why i am making videos on them but the problem is if you don't know how browser works or how things work behind the scene then you will just seems like you are copying someone course and and hoping that it will going to work and i'm not saying that know all the things about the browser how it's written how you go, go to the depth in the start of your career or in the start of your learning something i'm not saying that learn at least the basic of that suppose you are learning a programming language then you should know how for loop work how how while loop work how what is the iterator how what is the condition how it got handles and what the behind the things are happening that's why you can think how to implement the same and i did the same mistake i will just try to explain you i started as a java developer and i was using jsf to develop a web application so it's a mbc framework and we got a project in my, in my older company to rewrite the the same project to a new newer technology so we we did, decided that we're going to use angular in the front end and spring boot as a back end and at that time angular was in the beta state okay so that's a poc we are we, we are doing and the problem what came is we focus more on angular we haven't focused on javascript before that i never used J javascript we have used java so that was fine for us but for for the case of javascript we faced a lot of problem the one problem i will tell you and you may laugh now that while making a http call we are assigning a variable and you are trying to access that outside of your subscription block and we are getting it undefined and we don't know that time that something a asynchronous programming is there means how it works that that's what i'm saying is we don't know about how browser literally works because we are at the time we have a knowledge of everything will going to work synchronously so the code will start from here and go till the end and that's how the course would execute the reason was we don't know how browser work how what is the event loop and how it handles your callbacks how it queue your task and how it executes your asynchronous task and that's the biggest learning in my life that know the basic at least the basic of a of a new technology that you want to learn like if you may heard about this statement from abraham maslow's and it's it's also famous by maslow's hammer that if all you have is a hammer everything looks like a nail that means the only tool you know that in the in the world is present as a hammer then you want to break everything you want to hit a nail and just put hitting on that that's what happened with me in those days that's the mistake i did and i don't want you to do those mistakes and i'm also seeing this mistake is happening now by some beginners also i'm not seeing the junior or senior the beginners i'm knowing this through interviews i'm knowing this through how they are asking me the doubts and all that's what you should avoid like you should know at least the basis how the browser works or the event loop and how it's happening so this is i'm taking an example of web development but this will be applicable for all the scenarios of any development suppose you, you want to learn uh, data science and 
what you'll do is you just see some videos like psychic learn and tensorflow you just go and use and you don't know how they work so you will going to get the results but you will not get optimal results so that's what i was saying the first mistake is focusing more on the features not focusing on the basics now we'll dis discuss about the second mistake that is going on a tutorial hell and what i mean by tutorial hell is you saw a video on, on some application development or, or some features and thanks to youtube it will going to suggest you a video which is similar to or which is just added some benefit to the same feature you have you are learning now so go go and watch that one and you'll keep on watching a whole playlist and you just keep on going and watching and watching but you are not implementing anything so at after six days seven days you're going to forget the previous what you learned and you are only seeing the right scenario what the developer or the creator want to show you so there are some mistakes are happening like what like while i'm developing the video i am getting some errors so at the time i'm pausing the video fixing that error and restarting the video again because it's not possible to show all the scenarios because how you are developing, how you are coding, you the errors will be different for different developers. So that's you will not uh, get if you will not implement. So that is second scenario to this. Some people are little good, like they, they saw a video and then they will try to implement. But the mistake they are doing and which I did is I try to implement the same thing what the tutor is uh, developing so if i remember we have in in my college days there was a channel called coding for entrepreneur and i was seeing the django tutorial from them and i was uh, trying to replicate the same what they are doing so the problem was it's all happy scenarios it's just like it, you are just copying someone's song and just write putting in your system and by doing that you will not see any error what i just discussed little back you will only going to see an error if you have some mismatch on the configuration or some versions if you are following exact same thing what they are doing so what i will suggest is do that okay if you are an absolute beginner you don't know how to do uh, the thing so first do that do what the what the educator or the creator is showing you to do then use those concepts and try to develop something different from what you saw and believe me, you will going to learn a lot from the errors you are going to make. It's, it's not only in the field of programming, it's on the every field. The more mistake you do, the better person you will going to become. If you learn from that mistake and if you just trying to avoid that mistake, if it's trying to run out of that mistake, then, then it's, it's a different scenario. As uh, in programming, the mistakes are not causing that many issue like not causing any issue at all so you will going to be a better programmer by doing mistakes and believe me once you resolve that issue by sitting a night or sitting whole day it's a very good feeling and and you will feel like you are in the top of the world for a fraction of time but you'll feel that and that thing will boost you to achieve the next goal so what i meant is don't go in a tutorial hell Try to learn the concepts from the videos or the blogs and try to implement something of your own by using those concepts. Now we'll discuss about the third mistake and that is trying to learn everything in a very short span of time. I'm not saying that you don't have to learn a lot of things. You have to learn a lot, lot of things but that's, that will not going to happen in a day or in a week or in a month it will going to take some time. Suppose you are learning web development. So in the beginning or in the start of the day, you, you started with JavaScript. Then you jumped to Java in the same day itself. Like you started learning JavaScript and you learned something, you saw something, okay, this is how we're go, going to make a call. Like suppose you started with Angular, uh, you start, know, okay, how, how I'm going to make HTTP call. Okay, I got the data. Now you jump to the Java. Then you learn that how you're going to expose a REST services so that, that you can consume on your HTML. Uh, 
means your angular now you again go to the node you saw express okay that's pretty good and a lot of things again you saw somewhere like the data science and you jump into that and started learning okay this is what like psychic learn tensor flow keras a lot of things are there and it will become a mass of all and i'm not saying it's not going to work it will going to work but it will going to take a lot of time to be a effective developer i'm not saying that we shouldn't learn multiple things it's very required that you should learn and we should learn multiple things because that's what today's market are and as a developer learning new things is pretty cool that's what we all likes but it's not like you are learning two things at the same time actually i did that mistake and from that i'm saying suppose you want to learn javascript learn javascript go learn to the depth go to the depth of javascript and learn okay if you see some some piece of code think how it's working then don't just trying to get output from that and trying to implement in your application uh, yeah it's good if you have very short span of time and if you want to launch some product then just use that but if you want to be a good developer go to the depth understand how that working and so i will give example of a http call again and again i am coming back to the http call because it's easy to understand and everybody is using that so suppose you are making a http call and you are making in angular or you are making as a promise and you are getting the response back from the server while learning you should think what is happening behind the scene so that you you are getting your response in the success block if it's observable or you are getting the response on the dot then if it's a promise and how it's going to the error or how it's going to the catch and what is happening in the browser that it it is getting notified to us that okay it's a success it's a failure you should think like that this is just an example but you should think like this for the every scenario you are looking for so if you are learning something go deep into that and that's how you will going to be a good developer now the fourth mistake and the fourth mistake is something like if you are in a team so in that the fourth mistake is having self doubt and i observe this happens if you have a very critical feature to implement or very it's little tough you don't know about that and you have a very limited time to implement that or you have a deadline to implement that the two things that comes into mind like you may, you may think okay if i will not be able to implement that will may affect the project or the second one is how the people are going to think or how my colleague will go, going to think about me if i am not able to do it and that's the biggest mistake you can do in your career any opportunity you are getting any challenges you are getting i will suggest go ahead take that one don't pass it to another developer and th this is the time to take the challenges so that we will going to learn a lot of things from the challenges i know if you don't know something you can't say that it will going to work it will going to take time I know you have to work a lot you have to give a overtime suppose you have a work of nine hour in, in 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 your office then you may have to give 12 hour 15 hours in a day to achieve that things but believe me as a developer if you are achieving something which is challenging which is interesting and you don't know about anything about that before then it's a worth to try and believe me it will going to work you, you can achieve it but the main problem is the resistance of the starting so if you start then you can get a lot of uh, help from from internet from youtube from your seniors there are a lot of help there in 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 your surrounding and somehow subconsciously or consciously you will going to complete that and that you should do as a as a beginner and you should not run away from from challenging tasks that that the third mistake i observe a lot of people do means a lot of beginners do last but not the least not focusing on the quality and this is a result of all the previous mistakes and the quality will be differ in different phase of your of your career so if you are absolute beginner you may not giving a good variable names you you are may not uh, focusing on the complexity means your time complexity and space complexity that's what i i told in the first focusing more on the outcome not on the process 
so if you if you see how the process is working then then outcome will going to be pretty good and if you are in the middle of your career then the quality will be little different from from as a beginner focusing on which data structure to use in which cases so that you will get an optimized result and all, all those things and I know by saying this I am going to get some bad comments the phrase is if something is working don't touch it I'm not saying that go and change everything which all are working I'm saying that if you saw something that which can be improved by improving that you will get some good performance or which have a very bad time or space complexity and you can improve them just do that and after doing that test it thoroughly write a unit test write a integration test write a lot of things if it's a production scenario and try to implement them it's not like it okay if it's working it's fine just a little slow it's not I'm making anything what what I need to do we need to get out from that attitude and we should focus on optimizing our code optimizing our development scenario that's how we're going to learn it's always not about how what the benefits you will get or for a short span of time by doing these things you will get a very big benefit on a long run so those are the five mistakes you should avoid while starting as a web developer or any developer. So please let me know if you're liking this kind of video, like a talking video where I, I will explain you about the scenarios, uh, what you should do, what you should not according to my opinion. And please let me know in the comments so that I will try to make more, more video like this. So please like the video if you are liking the video till now and please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will not miss future videos and please let all these things know to your friends, family, colleague or you can share the videos. Please give some valuable comment in the comment section below. We are going to meet in the next video. Till that, stay happy. Bye-bye.